It is being called a new era of authoritarian aggression. Eleven ships from Russia and China reportedly conducting a joint naval drill not far from Alaska's Aleutian Islands last week. And while they didn't actually cross into United States territory, experts are calling it the largest flotilla of Chinese and Russian ships to approach America's shores. The U.S. dispatching four warships in response to it. A military official telling The Wall Street Journal the Russia and China patrol was, quote, not considered a threat. Um, but let's now bring in retired U.S. Air Force Lieutenant General Richard Newton, News Nation senior national security contributor. Um, General, always good to see you. We know the ships have now since left, uh, but how concerned should Americans be that two of our biggest adversaries are conducting these types of drills right near our waters? Well, good morning, Marky. Uh, first, this is unprecedented. Uh, it's a close cooperation between uh, these two navies now, China and Russia. Uh, they have uh, formed up that joint maritime task force that you alluded to last week, uh, 11 ships. And uh, it is significant because they're now, I believe we're now in an era of, of, of great power competition. Uh, and the fact that the United States is coming out of several years of, of engagement in Iraq and Afghanistan, and now you've got Ukraine and Russia war, and you've got uh, lots of aggression from the Chinese demonstrated in the Taiwan Strait and so forth. Now they're moving. Uh, they're trying to create a, a, a sphere of influence now, even up to what we call the high north up in the Arctic region, as you referred to. And so this is significant. It's also unprecedented. It's something that we've got to keep a very close eye on. Yeah, and it certainly does seem like a provocative move, given the timing of war in Ukraine, tensions with Taiwan. What do you make of the timing of it? Is this a direct response to U.S. military drills that you and I have also talked about here on this show? I don't think so. I think this okay. is more tied to closer cooperation between, uh, again, China and Russia. Uh, Russia has more or less always had a, a very strong uh, sense of of participation and, and signs of aggression up in the up in the Arctic region. And, and China has really now allowed Russia to maintain a, their military presence and, and a military lead. But they're playing a supporting role here. But the fact that they did a joint maritime task force in coordination uh, that started several weeks or so ago and ended up, you know, up near the, the shores of Alaska in a very effective show of display of force and coordination is, uh, again, this is this is unprecedented. Now, the United States responded with uh, with four U.S. Navy destroyers and Navy maritime patrol aircraft and so forth. And so uh, we, we, we provided, a, I think, a proper and effective response. This isn't the first time that the Russians have, uh, and the Chinese have operated in the maritime uh, domain. They did so back in September of uh, last year, uh, where they had seven ships. There, were, I believe, there were three Chinese ships and four Russian ships. So this yeah. is this is a larger force, a larger demonstration of close cooperation between uh, the Russian and the mili and the Chinese uh, navies. Yeah, and we, we watching. We've been watching it by sea, also by air. Back in April, the U.S. Uh, intercepted those two Russian fighter jets near Alaska, and it just seems like we keep on seeing more and more of those soft confrontations between the United States, Russia, and China. Uh, and it seems like inch by inch they do get bolder and more daring. What should we make of how each side keeps on flexing its muscles here? Well, I, it is a, a really we're in a, a new era of, of aggression here. Uh, if you recall the Chinese spy balloon back in early February of this yep. year, you recall just a couple months or so ago when you've got the Russians trying to down a, a a U.S. Uh, MQ-9 drone over the Black Sea. You've got them trying to do the same over Syria. You've got China also uh, flying close to our patrol aircraft in international airspace and near international waters and so forth. Uh, so this is this is planned. This isn't something that's just they're doing, you know, as an opportunity that they see come their way. This is a planned close core cooperation. Now, the U.S. needs to maintain, uh, again, our efforts to thwart and deter the Chinese and the Russians from operating together, mm -hmm. uh, much less independently, that we show this force. We bring out our, our surface combatant ships to, to, again, dissuade them from entering, obviously, U.S. international waters and so our U.S. waters. Sure. Uh, so I think you're going to see more of this also as this competition plays out. This isn't going to be just something that we will have uh, recalled in our recent memory. I think this is the way uh, you're going to see this great power competition move forward over the next uh, several months, probably into 24 and 25. Yeah.
Russia and China uh, knew exactly what they were doing here. Uh, General Richard Newton, thank you so much, as always. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.